Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I have this novel that I've talked about in a few of my previous videos on my channel and I have to admit that I am cramming to finish it because I promised to have a finished final draft by the end of June this year. And I have been working on it, but I have to have a better way of tracking where I am at and what still needs to be done. I do not have the luxury of time to be confused by my workflow. So I decided to make a Kanban board, but the Kanban board should fit inside my daily planner, which is the um, Holy Go Likely one that you have seen earlier. Now this planner is the A5 Slim, which means that the inside pages are all the height of the a5 which is 210 millimeters and the width of the personal which is 95 millimeters. I have here a sheet of 220 GSM white card stock. It is just the basic smooth white card stock and this is what I will be using for the Kanban board but I will cut it down to the height of the A5 which is 210 millimeters. Now the Kanban board traditionally has three panels and that's what I will make. The first panel will have the width of 95 millimeters, and I just marked that. And then I used this book binding all to make a score line along the 95 millimeter mark that I made. And then I just fold and then crease. Now I have to make space for the discs, and according to my measurement, there should be a 12 millimeter clearance from the left edge where the discs are. So 95 millimeters minus 12 millimeters, that's 83 millimeters, and that will be the width of the second panel. I also made the necessary marks after measuring. I scored and then folded and then creased. And now the third panel will have to be also 83 millimeters in width and I just made the mark and this time instead of scoring I cut off the excess to make a total of three panels. This is the Kanban board. So I decided to finally use these square sticky notes that I bought about a week ago. I haven't used these yet and this Kanban board would be a good way to use up these sticky notes. And at first I just pasted them down as they are in the original shape and size. This is I think one and a half inch square. And then I began to write down my tasks using a fountain pen so that I can make a bold handwriting. But after a while I realized that my sticky notes were too big for what I will be writing on them so I decided to cut them down in half horizontally and it turned out to be a much better size. And after that I went ahead and wrote down all of the tasks on each sticky note and as you can see everything fits much better. Now some of the chapters in my novel are already written and finalized. Some need to be edited but some have nothing on them. So I know that in my vlog about my writing, I said I must set a daily word quota for myself of 2,000 words, but I want, to be, uh, I want to be realistic and instead use a daily word quota that I knew I was able to do before, which is 1,667 words a day. If each chapter should have about 5,000 words, and if I divide that by three, that is exactly my daily word quota of 1,667 words. So I will give myself three days to write an entire chapter from scratch. For the sticky notes on the Kanban board, I just rounded that up to 1,700 words. Now there is not enough space on the front on the Kanban board for the, uh, left panel on the front of the Kanban board to hold all of the sticky notes for the tasks that I need to do to finish writing my novel. So I just flipped the board over and pasted everything else on the back side. I can just transfer them to the front panel as I go along. As I move tasks over to the middle and finally to the right panel of the front of the Kanban board, I will create more space on the left panel on the front of the Kanban board. And that's going to be how these sticky notes will flow. I hope that makes sense.
I decided to use the same structure for all the sticky notes. For each chapter, there will be three sticky notes for writing 1,700 words each, and then a sticky note for editing that chapter, and another sticky note for polishing that chapter. By the time I was done, I realized that using just one color for the different tasks for each chapter was a little confusing because there was no visual break at all. It looked like an entire sea of writing, 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 writing. Where was the editing? I could not see that quickly. So I decided to assign different colors to editing and polishing. As you can see here, I have assigned the orange sticky note for editing tasks per chapter and the pink sticky notes for polishing each chapter. So the work on the chapters will proceed from green to orange to pink. Pink is the final goal. And remember the left panel is for the to-dos. Whenever I'm already working on a particular task, I will just move it to the middle panel. And then when I'm done, I will just stick everything on the right panel. When it comes to the right panel, there doesn't need to be any order or arrangement necessary. The work is done and we don't have to think about it any further. What's important is that there is some semblance of order and flow to the items on the left panel so that you can have a visual guide on how to proceed. And I also noticed at this point that I have to change the colors of these two sticky notes right here. The edit should be orange and the polish should be pink. Here is how all of the sticky notes look on the back. Initially, I grouped two chapters together. For instance, here you can see the flow. I will write everything for chapter 7 and then write everything for chapter 8. And then I will edit and polish chapter 7 and then edit and polish chapter 8. But then I thought that's way too much continuous writing without ever putting a chapter to bed when it should be. I need the gratification and satisfaction of finally putting a pink sticky note onto the rightmost panel of the Kanban board more often. The more pink sticky notes I put on there, the better I will feel because I know that I am closer to my goal. And so what I did was I rearranged all of the sticky notes again. I will be doing all of the writing for one chapter first and then edit and polish that same chapter before proceeding to write the next chapter. And here is how it, everything looks now. It looks so much more visually dynamic because it represents a more dynamic work, faster, brisker, and there will be an actual progress for every chapter. And the progress will not be every two chapters anymore. The more often and the quicker you can mark your progress, the better you will feel and the more motivated you will be to continue. As for me, the faster that I can move the pink sticky notes to the done part of the Kanban board, the better I'm going to feel. And all of those blank green sticky notes over there are just extras in case I need to do additional research on some of the chapters, just in case. But for the most part, here is how the flow will go. And this Kanban board will be on my desk bound daily planner like so. And I will fold it in in such a way that the to do's will be on the front and the doing and done will be folded in. And here is the back side. It is flipped so I will know that it is the wrong side. Now, as I was going through the word counts of, uh, uh, that I have written on the sticky notes, I realized that I have forgotten to check which of the other chapters have already been written and no longer need a full 5,000 word writing spree. I checked my working draft on my computer and saw that chapter 7 only needs about 2,000 more words or less, so I removed the other green sticky notes for the writing of chapter 7 and just left one green sticky note and then moved up the orange and pink sticky notes for chapter 7. Chapter 8 is already complete, so I removed all of the green sticky notes for chapter 8 and then moved up the orange and pink for chapter 8. Chapter 9 needs only 1,900 words, so I left, it, I, I left in 
just one green sticky note for chapter 9, as well as the orange and pink for chapter 9. As for chapters 10 through 15, none of them have been written. So I'm keeping everything else that's here on the backside of the Kanban board. And finally, now it can go into my daily planner. By the way, I have a video about how I set up this planner and I will link it down below. I'm really thankful to so many people on YouTube who have made videos about how to make a Kanban board and how they're using their Kanban boards. There are so many of them and every single video that I have been able to watch have been so wonderful and so helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching my little video for you today. I hope you got some ideas that will help you manage your projects better, just like this Kanban board. Thanks for watching. Bye!